Hello, this is uh, going to be a tutorial on Lightroom 3. So I'm just going to jump right in and show you how to start editing pictures in Lightroom. So it works best if you, edit, if you uh, shoot in RAW, which is what every photographer should shoot in anyway. And because um, you can recover things that aren't really there on a normal JPEG. Uh, let me give you an example. So we'll do this picture right here. I, I shoot in RAW plus JPEG. So it tags the JPEG with the RAW. As you can see right there, there's the RAW and there's the JPEG. So what I'm going to do is take the RAW and import it into Lightroom. And I've already done it, so it might be a little bit weird with this picture. I've already, like I've already imported it. Actually, I'll just copy it and, well, let me just pause the video and resume it when I get it imported. Okay, I think I got it. So I just put it on. I just made a copy of it and put it on my desktop, and there it is. Good. Okay, import. And now we are going to click on develop up here. And that goes to this. So as you can see, this picture is pretty blown out. You click the auto, and that will help quite a bit that um, that gives you pretty much a basic idea of what you want it to be so there's a lot of blown highlights here that can't really be recovered and uh, so what we're going to do is get those back so this auto button right over here click that that darkened it quite a bit but it's reading all this white and stuff so it darkened it a little bit too much in my opinion so you bring the exposure back up and get it where you want it and bringing the blacks up in pictures helps a lot. It brings up the depth of the picture, not that much, of course, but up to about there. Bring up the fill light a little bit. And now, um, let's see, bring up the exposure a little bit more. So now, uh, something I like to do is bring up the individual colors that I see. So when you first open Lightroom, all of these are collapsed, so you just open them again. So you open the HLS color and B and W tab and I usually click all right here so it shows all the colors and then you can uh, bring up each individual color so I'm going to bring up the color for the girl on the left shirt so as you can see it's bringing up the color for the blue so um, which is also bringing up the color for the sky and the gleanings for the hungry sign right there so now I'll bring up green which will bring up the grass and her shirt And that really makes it pop and makes everything more vivid. And um, orange usually is skin, but you normally don't want to bring that up too much or it looks weird. It looks like they're sunburnt or something. So um, that's, that's about right. And then you can bring the shadows up or down on the sliders case. And sometimes after you do all that, the picture may seem a little bit darker so you can bring it up again so and also also you want to bring up the clarity and vibrance it just kind of makes everything a bit more sharp and uh, saturation really makes things insanely vivid like way more than you'd want and if you bring it all the way down it goes to black and white so if you bring it like half and half it makes it partially black and white if that's what you want to do but I usually just leave it at zero maybe a tiny bit up but not for this picture it's already pretty vivid so now um, something that I like to do is go to uh, lens corrections and then lens vignetting and bring the amount down and that puts a uh, kind of a, a black fade around the edge of the whole picture kind of puts a spotlight in the middle of the picture so to speak and that sometimes makes the whole picture a little bit darker but um, so that looks that looks pretty good and uh, so now and you can crop it if you want so click on the crop thing right there and you can crop it wherever you want um, right now it's set on the original aspect ratio so I can't change that but if you go to here and unlock that then I can change whatever I want and make it whatever shape but I'm not going to crop it like that I'm, I like the cropping of the picture already. So now to export it, you go to File, 
oops, and then export. And something that I like to do is put my signature on the pictures, so I'm just going to export this to the desktop real quick. So to put your signature on it, you go to watermarking, check that box, and go to edit watermarks, and this window will come up. And as you can see, there's a watermark down there now. So what you can do is make your own watermark and make sure you have the alpha key embedded if you make a, a signature. So you might have to have a professional make your, make your signature for you if you don't know what you're doing. But um, I have a few signatures saved here with the alpha key embedded. And so I imported those into Lightroom and I can click done. And I can just choose any of the presets that I did already and click export and it'll export it up here and on my desktop it'll export the JPEG and it should have the signature and be color corrected and there you go you have the perfect signature cutouts snap into focus here and Picasso there we go you have the perfect signature everything's color corrected and um, it's in full full resolution so that's how you edit pictures in Lightroom.